He was equal parts Terrell Owens and Randy Moss. I was like, this guy's a freak. One of the most talented receivers in college football history. Julio Jones was a man child. He was this big physical receiver, but had this breakaway speed. Tough, he was fast, he made the tough catch, he blocked, he knew his assignments, he practiced hard every day. Rare combination of size, strength, uh, speed. The precision, the quickness, and then that physicality to just break through defenses every level. He has pretty much everything that you need to be a, a superstar player. He's got Julio Jones open, and he's gonna score! Julio's one of those guys that when you see a game, whether you're live or you're watching it on TV, that kind of jumps. It's not a 50-50 ball. It's an 80-20 ball. It's a 90-10 ball that Julio Jones is going to come down and, and score or, or deliver a huge reception. I just saw him take that offense uh, and that passing game to just new heights, man. He, he, he helped electrify the, the offense, and it wasn't all about the running game. The first receiver in the Nick Saban era at Alabama who was open when he was covered. the end zone. Julio Jones, touchdown! If you're young enough, you don't even remember Alabama as not being one of the top teams in the country. Because there were a couple of years right before Julio Jones, they went six and seven, then they went seven and six. It was the very front end of that dynasty, and he was the sort of player that became commonplace after that. Julio Jones was really the first superstar, I think, of the Nick Saban era. He became the benchmark at Alabama. He became the superstar wide receiver at the superpower program. That was a loud message across the league that Alabama was going to be a player from then on out. McElroy, here's Julio Jones. Gets by the safety. The chase is on, and it will be won by Julio Jones. Yeah, that kind of changed Alabama, and they really haven't gone back. I think you can make the argument that Julio Jones is the most influential signing of the Nick Saban Alabama era because of where they were at the time. We've come to expect Alabama to have the best players year in and year out and you go back to Julio Jones and saying this is a different kind of football player and who has him? Alabama. When you look back and think about when this became a dynasty, Julio Jones is the forefront of that. He's one of the most important players that was ever recruited, not just because uh, of how good he was, that was important but because of the way he became a team first guy. And, and he bought into Nick's system all the way. And Nick was very lucky that when he built his foundation, Julio was the guy he started out with. He was one of the pillars of that foundation that turned into a dynasty.